in the building, Steve. Sorry, who is? Barry from Watford. 82-year-old lifestyle here. guru. <laughs> He's here. Yeah. You're right. Here he is. And suddenly he was here. It's miraculous. Yeah. <laughs> nice to be here. Barry, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty chipper, old friend. Thank you. <laughs> There's the merest hint of spring in the air. Oh, well, I don't know. Cold, hot, hot, cold. Who well, knows? Well, it is choppy, changey, but the evenings are a bit brighter. You know, the council even let Margaret stay out till seven as long as she don't scare no one. <laughs> it's like I'm spending the evening doing a bit of light. Jogging. Are you really? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've got a variety of designer shorts to show me legs off. You know, blue goes with anything, doesn't it? But I, <laughs> <laughs> I say jogging. It's walking or watching the telly, really. This yeah. is your best material ever. But, uh... <laughs> it's very good, though, Barry. So you're really getting into keeping fit. <laughs> well, sort of. I want to look buff on me holiday. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, how does the Maldives sound to you? Sounds good to me. Me too. Unfortunately, we're going to the Isle of Wight, but the Maldives... <laughs> Well, it's lovely, the Isle of Wight, getting on a ferry. Well, look, it swings and roundabouts. There is the miracle of the Moldovian coral reef, but can you get a slush puppy and two scotch eggs for 3 <laughs> 20 on the seafront? No, you can't! You cannot, Barry, you cannot. But, you know, on the beach in my trunks, I can still turn heads in the other direction, mostly, <laughs> but I don't well, look bad. You're not bad, you're pretty buff, aren't you? Listen, ladies and gentlemen, my brain's in top condition. Life member of Mensa, uh, distinction in Ken Bruce's pop master quiz <laughs> ebay bronze rated seller but the physique <laughs> needs a bit of work <laughs> I've got the, i do have the body of a god buddha it, all the old ones yeah all, all the, the old, old ones, ones. so what do you do barry you, you exercise do you well yes i do and this is like for everyone at home you don't have to spend too much money you yeah, see. okay there's a rock climbing wall at our leisure center they'll charge you to use it my advice do it in your bedroom. What? Well, I simply put a low stool <laughs> and the bedside table against a wardrobe, get a foothold, climb up. It's like the K2. I you can know. imagine you upselling in your bedroom, Barry. <laughs> if I'm feeling particularly confident, I'll ascend via the lethal trouser press North Face. You know, I'll put a bit of light dusting up there. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm here for. Well, whatever you say, I always take as gospel and I listen to your advice because you are a lifestyle guru. Now, Barry has taken his life coaching skills onto Twitter, I'm hearing. Yes. And so how's it going on there, Barry? You know, everyone's looking for lifestyle coaches. You know, they come to the aid of thousands of people a year, and I must have helped at least two or three people people in my <laughs> career so the service on twitter <laughs> lifestyle coaching in 140 characters and it works because i always give the same advice for everything get out of bed stop moaning get your hair cut only takes 46 <laughs> characters <laughs> you know, done. i've got 94 left you know? <laughs> but it, it's bad if from what if you want some professional expert advice i can't answer all of them but my neighbor len has got some time on his hands he might be <laughs> Is he fully qualified? Well, he's a plumber. He's corky <laughs> registered. He's qualified in that way. That'll do. That'll do, you know. Are you of the mind that for life coaching, then, it's really pull yourself together? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, all this kind of nanny state, people yeah. having their, their hands held, and they're probably that's unhygienic or something <laughs> as well, you know. Oh, dear. Well, what about the TV for the weekend? I mean, we've got half term here, lots of TV. What about that Gox show? Oh, I love Gox clothes. Roadshow. Gox takes on the major towns in this country, Manchester, Leeds, Watford, and gives people <laughs> a makeover. Now, I'd like Gox to give me a, a makeover. Really? Yeah, if only it didn't involve standing in a shop window with next to nothing <laughs> on. I mean, I think the British High Street suffered enough in this recession. But I mean, you can just see kind of Mary Porter's coming round. The main reason <laughs> your trade is suffering is an 82 year old bloke and his underpants in the <laughs> See what I did there, combined yeah, two programs. I like that, yeah, that was very good. We didn't rehearse that. No, and what about good. Dancing on Ice, then? Oh, that's getting the business in now. They've got that comedy day from Radio 1, oh, Chris he's... Moyle's sidekick. Yeah. I was thinking Janie, you, you could... know, as a sidekick, or Tim, yeah. could maybe go on a reality show. It's not um... a bad idea. What did you have in mind? Well, that's in the jungle, Barry. Well, yeah, the jungle. I can't be eating bark and worms. You can't. 
No. Well, I've seen some of the, the <laughs> trill that you oh, eat, that, that new age nonsense. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not dissimilar, is it? <laughs> You're onto it, Barry. So, no, I mean, you've got Tim there. I've seen him on Strictly Come Dancing in the sequence. I mean, he already wears the stilettos yeah, around the studio. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, tonight it's Wife Swap. Not the programme, it's just a hobby Margaret and I have got. <laughs> Oh. End on a high. Barry from Watford will return in a week All or right. so. No, 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 Barry. Yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> that was great, shambolic, but great. <laughs>